today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the petroglyphs it's a system of volcanoes here in Albuquerque and I find them to be fascinating I live next to volcanoes that are dormant and people just go to visit it's like it's like a hangout spot for high schoolers oh yeah let's go hang out at the volcano it's <laughs> Of which is why it is so enticing to say that I live next to volcanoes as if that's really cool. If you liked the video, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's go ahead and jump into my editing process for these lovely three sister volcanoes at the Petroglyph National Park. I just really try to darken the photo a little bit by, you know, decreasing its exposure just a tad bit and increasing its contrast just a little bit. I really find that, you know, this area specifically didn't require much detail in its editing, but I did want to try to test its shadows, see how far I could go and how much detail I get out of the shadow, but then increase the clarity, but create more of a shadow and detail effect with the clarity mark in Lightroom and it actually turned out pretty well. At this point I'm just gonna go ahead and slap just every picture with a little bit of black and white just to kind of create that contrast and that deep ominous moody tone that I love. Here's a key tip, always remember to put stars on your pictures to show which one's your favorite and which one's your least favorite. It really helps with your overall organization. And just like with the planes uh, before in the top of the volcano, here we are in a different section of that same volcano. And over here, I saw that the sun was just reflecting so beautifully over this long field of grass, of desert high grass. I actually don't know the term, the correct term for this grass, so if anybody knows, please put it in the comment section below. But I, it was so beautiful that I had to capture it. And editing over here in Lightroom, I really wanted to make it super contrasty, super dark on the outside, and really show that light coming in as if it was coming in from the heavens. But the sun was super, super bright, being that it's the sun, duh, right? So in this case, I went ahead and just dialed the sun down a little bit, uh, just enough to be able to not have it be so overbearing and kind of level everything out, super dark, super gloomy, shiny where it needs to be, where you can see that direct ray of sun hitting that field of grass in front of us as the viewer. thinking to myself about how these photos are going to come out, what's this, what type of story am I going to paint with this, and it was really interesting because as I'm coming down the road, I was looking ahead of me, and there's just this one road, and if you look out in the distance, there's really nothing else besides that building, and it was just this one divergent path, which was leading me, and it's like, to that building, like it was giving me a bigger path than what was already in front of me, like there's this one path leads to a vast array of opportunity and it was kind of inspiring i really took a lot from visiting the petroglyph national park and then over here this is where i'm really trying to do my final touch-ups so any type of black and white photo that i already have down here i want to really enhance that contrast uh the photo with the sun shining down on the field of grass of what you see in the center right now that one is kind of like the overarching story that's the main bread and butter right there 
here. And I kind of just built every other uh, photo around it just so I can have one collective storyline to work with. If you happen to catch the rock that is right next to the little fern of grass right there, I actually didn't put that one as a black and white. I kept it as a color because I wanted to take a picture of the plainness of the rock being contrasted between that and the greenness of the earth. It's very interesting to see this symbiotic relationship. this one over here because of its sheer just vast openness when i got to the top of the volcano i looked behind me in front of me i just saw the city but behind me there was literally nothing it was just this vast open field of dirt and sand it caught my eye like i really wanted to just take a picture of what it felt to be alone I think this photo right here encapsulated it perfectly. If you liked the video, please don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And until next time, guys, guys, I greatly appreciate you guys checking out my channel and checking out the content that I have to offer. This was the Petzlaf National Park here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Until next time, be sure to check out Monday where I will be editing some photos that I took from Chaco Culture, Historic National Park, and I am very excited to show you guys those. Until next time, peace out, guys.